it's you again. Hey, it's me, me, Miss C. You might know me from things such as this page that I make videos on from me, Miss C. So today, on my second video of the year, since I'm making one a week, uh, today's the last day I could post it. Procrastination is key, people. It makes you creative. I decided I was going to show you guys something. Something near and dear to my heart. It's kind of embarrassing because, I don't know, it, I mean, it's got more mainstream. People, people don't really think it's that weird anymore, which is cool because of The Walking Dead and, you know, all the other mainstream things. But I have been a holic for a lot of years. And not an alcoholic. <sighs> Bartender. No, <laughs> a zombaholic, okay? What this means is I have an unhealthy affinity for all things undead. There was the first key. Woo! Mean with C. This is my zombie killing shirt. Here. Zombie killing t-shirt. I got this from my secret Santa a couple years ago. Best secret Santa gift I've ever been a part of. Okay, number two. I'm just going to show you guys... I, I, I gathered up all my little zombie paraphernalia over here. I could just pan down, I guess, and make this video be done. But no, I'm going to show you one by one. My zombie finger puppets. <laughs> Coolest, like, 75 cents a piece I've ever spent on zombies. This little lady got a brain. You guys might have seen these in a previous video. Maybe I'll make links to the videos that I've actually used these items in. I don't know. 2013 zombie calendar. Hey. In case you don't know what day it is, you can find out zombie style. This is a zombie drinking glass. And it has a um, recipe for a drink on the back. I've never used that either. But isn't that cool? Brains raw. Oh, that's neat. Like, you can, like, see my face there. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. This is a game called Kaponk. It's kind of like beer pong, but it's actually geared towards children, which is so funny because it's like beer pong. But I, of course, saw this and had to have it. It is a zombie edition, and it makes super cool noises when you get actually the ball in the hole. I'll let you guys hear a couple. Oh, if the battery wasn't dead. Oh. That's not one of them. <laughs> Fail, Carmen, or maybe we'll see. That wasn't me, that was the cup. Glass breaking, a zombie's entering your house. Can you feel it? I guess, I guess you can. Scurry. The cops are coming. Oh, hey, do I get to wear the, I want to wear the, the sheriff's hat. This time in Walking Dead, so that dumb little boy. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Chainsaws, which really makes no sense because nobody uses a chainsaw to kill a zombie. We all use bats or, you know, other things that blow to the head. Okay, you guys get the gist of it. I love you, zombie kaponk. It's zombie bowling, guys. It comes with all these little pins, which are like zombie body parts, and then it's got a ball, a little zombie man head. Set them up, knock them down, hours of zombie entertainment zombie bowling. This is the entire zombie pet shop. They come in cool packaging, but I wanted to take them out and look at them, so I will never have, like, resale value. But they're plastic, so it's crap anyway. This is a Funko Pop um, little figurine. It's from Walking Dead. I had another one too, but I can't find it. I know where it's at, actually. It's not somebody's car. But one of the seasons of Walking Dead, the zombie got a little thing right through his eye. That's this guy. I've got a rubber ducky who's been zombified. Brain's all about, man. <laughs> Super cool. I don't, I don't take baths. I just am naturally clean. But anywho, zombie stickers for your car. But it would be like me and a cat, and I'd be kind of sad. So I'm not putting that on. The gorgeously gruesome zombie make your own zombie kit. You get to sew this guy up, make your own little zombie. I think it's cooler in the box, so I never opened it. Just to show you guys I'm not vapid, I care about things other than toys, alright? Obviously, I care about smarts, because zombies are all about brains. So, for one, I have a human brain. <laughs> this guy, he sings too, so he's artsy. He's been in a video too of mine, um, I'll post the link to that. It's a he, you might ask me, Missy. Yeah, it's a he, can you tell? Duh. It is actually very informational. It tells you all about your bones and muscular skeletal system, but from the point of a zombie. It was actually a really good book. 
Uh, it's very informational. It's by Scholastic, I think. Yeah, it's like a school book. <laughs> if they had books like this in school, I might have actually paid attention. This is a zombie memoir. It's all about this guy who, you know, like the being turned into a zombie. Basically from like day one until you are a blithering idiot and all you care about is eating brains. Good read. This one, in case you ever get a zombie and you want to be BFFs forever, 501 things to do with a zombie. It has great ideas for those, those times that you, you know, I want to hang out, and you're just like, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? And your zombie's like, I try to eat you. You're like, stop. We do that all the time. Let's see something out of this book. And so you can look through and be like, all right, how about we join a motorcycle gang? Sweet. Or how about, like, we can play horse. His arm might fall off, but whatevs. Get attend a film festival. Just tons of neat ideas like that. This one, <laughs> this is for like the middle school type. I kind of feel like it's the zombie equivalent of Twilight, <laughs> but dumber. It's called Zombies Don't Date. <laughs> I actually got this off of eBay. I read about two pages and it's it actually reads just like those books you would have read if you were a 13 year old girl in um, middle school and you're like, it reads like that, but with a zombie for the main part. Oh, I'm such a nerd. Okay, this is one of my favorites. It is Zombie Haiku. The graphics are amazing. That is one of my favorite books. All right, what next? Magnets. Man, I love zombie magnet. I haven't. I had another one I got at the same time as this, but I sent it off to a friend of mine at Reckless Eating because they're super awesome, and I'm sure they enjoy zombies as well. I like them. Everybody's got to like them, right? Right. These are magnets I made of my own. They're pretty darn sweet. This one is a blue brain. <laughs> this one is a human brain. Uh-huh. And this one is Frankenstein. <laughs> Good thing I'm not an alcoholic, because I have a I Love Zombie shot glass. What? I do. I do. It's right here. That's it. And um, so I so I'd heard about these zombie targets. Actually, I'd seen them a place, and they were like $8 a piece. I'm like, I ain't paying $8 a piece for that. I want to see if I can get them cheaper. I'm not, I didn't buy any, but um, I got this book, and it shows me all the different ones you can order. And if I wanted to order them in bulk, I could. If, you know, I heard the zombie apocalypse was coming and I wanted to get my aim on, you know, might as well practice. I don't want to be mincemeat. Now you get to see the rest of my garbage. Let's go. So this right here, you guys, is a wooden, it's actually a real wooden sign, hand painted. My sister got this for me for Christmas. <laughs> I don't know if this was supposed to be a gag gift, but heck, I'm going to hang it up. It's awesome. She got it from a craft fair, and actually this guy, like, makes these. He makes all sorts of ones, you know, like, normal ones that say, like, cabin this way, or, like, home sweet home, or and all that kind of crap. This one is the one that she saw, and she thought of me, like most people do. They see dead, gory, disgusting things, and they think of me, which works well. But, yeah. Best present ever. Thanks, Sister T. Best sister ever. <sighs> Next. This is my bathroom. It may look normal to you as we're walking in, but you might see something here. I think it's a little shocking and terrifying. This is my little zombie man who watches me shower every morning. It's a pervert zombie. Actually, I have two of these guys. This guy sits right here. This guy, this guy watches my fridge. And he tells me when you gotta don't for the ice cream in my seat. That's naughty. So yeah, that guy watches my fridge. I'm such a dork. I almost forgot the most important thing. These super sweet socks. I heart zombies, man. You know, it's true. I got on my feet. Walking dead wallet. Got no money in it. This girl's got a shirt that says dead sexy. That's kind of, I don't really like that. But I like the guy next door. And I like the back people. Oh, my cell phone. They're like it's like a huge long um, panoramic that's the far left middle has all my apps far right they're coming to get you you can't get away what are you gonna do so as you can see my zombie collection is vast and amazing kind of like my witty personality and my drinking ability okay guys I fulfilled my two videos so far this year that is one a week I am staying on track. <laughs> All right, mean Miss C. Zombie killing shirt. Go for the head. Most important advice anybody could ever give you. Always go for the head. <laughs>